whale shit. Sorry about that. Oh, this isn't even at the right fucking angle. Uh, look at how prepared I am today. Fuck, dude. <laughs> today has been one hell of a day. Holy shit. I... Sorry that uh, I didn't come back right on time. Also, we're at 270 followers. Guys, we're only 30 away from me having to play Nekopata Volume 3. And that's terrifying to me. Um... <laughs> Hold on, I have to plug my phone back in. Um... Shit, guys. It's been... It's been a day. It has indeed been a day. First of all, it's too fucking hot, okay? The world is burning. <laughs> the world is burning to a crisp, and uh, I'm gonna die right along with it. You know, I can't handle heat like this. I think it's like 100 degrees where I live right now, and I simply cannot handle it. I simply cannot. And it's just... Because I just get... Okay, I have... Eh, I'm most likely on the spectrum somewhere, okay? If you didn't know that yet, you know that now. So I'm so, like, particular with the way that my body feels. And when I'm overheating, when I'm too hot, I just get so instantly overwhelmed and irritated and it's just simply not a fun time for anyone involved um <laughs> so uh, that that's what makes that's what makes uh this story about um my work this morning just that much more entertaining okay so reminder i work at a mental health facility that's like at an office building and um <laughs> they've been doing they've been progressively doing um work on the hallway of the floor that my office is on and um <laughs> today without any notice without any notice today uh decided apparently today was going to be the day that they lie that they put in the floor tiles um at 8 30 this morning when i'm supposed to be going into work and opening everything to get ready for clients to come in and uh yeah we couldn't we couldn't go in and they could they closed off the elevator too because they were tiling the space where the elevator is too and some of our clients can't use the stairs they have like they have disabilities they have to use the elevator and, you know, we want to be as accommodating as possible for our clients, so the fact that they could not use the elevator was a problem. And we simply could not get a hold of our boss for the longest time because they're not- the bosses aren't in on the weekends. That's- that's just- that's just normal. Um, but- <laughs> Sorry. Give me a second. It'll come back to me. I didn't reset it. Hold on. Let me re- let me reset the- what was I saying? Um, set zero? Heck yeah, okay. Um, but now I'm gonna put it at one, um, because I lost my train of thought. This is great. Um, <laughs> it's fine, I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm also- I feel like I'm so much- lower down than I usually am, and I don't know why that is. Hold on. I think I fucked something up with my camera. Is that better? Maybe? Also, hi, Card! Thank you for the lurk! I appreciate that so fucking much. Enjoy your laundry. Laundry's not fun. Um, <laughs> I was talking about what happened to me this morning at work. Um, okay, yeah, so the boss wasn't answering. Um, because, you know, the, bo the boss gets to sleep in on the weekends. We're not, you know, it's shorter hours on the weekends. We don't usually have to bother the bosses on the weekends. But we had to bother the boss this morning, and, um, they just simply were not answering. Um, <laughs> so we ended up, 
like having a makeshift group and I say a group because we didn't actually do anything because it was outside um, where people could walk by so it was not a confidential area so we technically aren't allowed to do that but we couldn't do anything else we didn't really talk about anything we were just sitting there waiting to hear back from the boss to be like, hey, what do we do? Do we just close up shop for the day? Do we send the clients home? Because when the clients came in, of course, we had to explain to them what the situation was and the fact that we can't go up to uh, the office <laughs> to actually run groups and shit. And um, it was insane. But the bosses got back to us. Luckily, um, there is another facility that was open nearby that um didn't currently have any clients in it so we were able to borrow that space for today so that was lucky very very lucky but having to deal with all of that with the nonsense of like running around trying to figure out what we were doing and like not have panic set in from the not knowing what we're doing and all of the heat and the oh my god, I'm not going to be able to work on my project that I was planning on working on because I also have a presentation due for school that I have to present on Thursday, this coming Thursday, that I've, I've started, okay? I have started it. I have, in fact, started it. <laughs> I got all my research articles. I know kind of what information I'm putting in. I know the topic. I know the... I kind of know the know the formatting that I'm doing. I just need to put all the stuff in there and write the things. The way that I do presentations is very annoying because I'm very neurospicy and I simply can't do uh, presentations like uh, neurotypical people can, or I should just say, as people with a memory can, because I just simply don't have a memory. So. <laughs> What I do for presentations is, like, I write out word for word, like, a five to six page document of every single thing I'm going to say, it's going slide by slide, having it all laid out for me and written, and then I summarize and shorten and put the little key points into the presentation. Did my switch just go to sleep? How dare you? I needed you for the background music. Hello? <laughs> that was quite rude! <laughs> Granted, I've, I've left it sitting on for a hot second, so that makes sense that that happened. Hold on, let's get the music going again. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, right, so for the presentations, um, I write the whole document, and then I take pieces to put on the presentation. And then also, the, another part that I have never had to do before, my professor wants us to make like a physical handout, like a little pamphlet or something of extra information that we're not gonna go over in the presentation, just extra information on a physical handout. And I'm like, the fuck? We get no direction as to how we're supposed to like format this like extra handout that we're giving the class no directions on it just a physical piece of something with information about the topic that is not in your presentation and i'm like oh what the fuck man <laughs> like i need exact directions i need everything written out for me line by line i need everything <laughs> I need them to tell me exactly what to do, otherwise I'm just going to fucking uh, hyperfixate on it and never figure out a way that works that I'm supposed to do it, and it just... <sighs> so I'm very stressed. <laughs> the long and short of that, I'm very stressed out today. My plan was to work on that presentation while I was at work today because I normally have a lot of downtime to where I can work on my homework while I'm at work, which I'm so fucking grateful for. And everyone that I work with 
even the clients, they all know I'm going through this master's program, so they're all like, you, if you're working on your stuff, they leave me alone, they, like, everything's copacetic. But I wasn't able to work on it today because of all the fucking nonsense that happened. There was downtime, but because it wasn't our facility, we didn't have our laptops, or we only grabbed one of the facility laptops um, to do notes on during the groups, and then that's it. So I didn't have a laptop to work on my homework on, which is annoying, but it's fine. I should have some time tonight to work on it. Hopefully, I swear I have dog hair. I have stuff on my nose all the time. I swear I don't do drugs. Um, okay. <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore that. I didn't need to say that. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, okay, wait, 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 I was gonna say something else, and I simply don't remember. <sighs> oh yeah, I, hold on, I gotta add to the counter. I gotta add to the counter. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so my plan was to work on that, work on my presentation during work today, which didn't happen. So, assuming I'm not entirely burnt out from stream later, I might work on it later tonight, and then I'll work on it more during work, during and after work tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, because my brain also doesn't like to let me focus when I need it to focus. So, even when I have time to do a thing that I need to do, sometimes my brain is just like, no, actually, you're just gonna sit here and do absolutely nothing for four hours and just doom scroll on your phone because that's all you have the energy to do. Even though you have plenty of time to do the things you need to do, you simply do not have the spoons available <laughs> at your disposal to do what you want to do. So you will sit here and suffer and, um, yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a little look inside my brain in case you were wondering. <laughs> it's a fun time. It's a fun time over here. Um, oh my god, and guys, the spider situation where I live is insane. Okay? For one, we don't we don't have bug people coming around to spray for bugs because we can't afford that. We're a bunch of early stage adult people. And we don't, we don't got money for that. We barely have money to feed ourselves and feed our pets. Um, we don't got money to pay for a bug guy to come spray for bugs. But we have so much nature around us. <laughs> we have so much, like, foliage and trees and bullshit that are houses for bugs. And... <laughs> that you want to see dude i can't do it i'm terrified of bugs i don't think you understand like when there when there's like a spider in the house i can easily kill it i'm not gonna run away screaming when i see a spider in the house but all of the spiders outside of my house is terrifying and i'm constantly thinking that i'm just gonna find one crawling on my shoulder one day because that has happened because that has genuinely happy happened. I found a spider in my cup of tea just an hour ago. I don't know where the fuck it came from. It was dead, but it was, I swear to God, I looked at the cup, okay? I checked the cup to make sure it was clean because I do that with all my dishes because our dishwasher fucking sucks and sometimes it doesn't clean the dishes and not everybody in this house checks the dishes before they put them away. Okay, that's neither here nor there. But I, I specifically remember checking the mug to make sure there was nothing wrong with it before I put my tea in it. As soon as I, I put my tea bag in there, okay, as soon as I pour the tea, I see this dead spider floating to the top of the tea. Just casually, just fucking casually a dead spider in my goddamn tea. Guys, it wasted a tea bag. I don't have the extra funds to be wasting tea bags here. I can't. 
Needless to say, I did get paranoid and pour out my tea and rinse out the cup again and completely cleaned out uh, the kettle because I was, I'm like, well, if it wasn't in the cup, it must have been in the kettle or maybe it was in the tea bag somehow because I guess that's a thing that could happen. It was pretty small. It wasn't like a big spider or anything, but still I'm like, it's ridiculous. We found a bug in our sealed package of baked goods. No lie. Dude, I fucking hate bugs. I hate bugs so fucking much. I know they're important to the ecosystem, okay? I'm well aware of that. And bugs can do whatever they want to do in their own environment, okay? That's fine. But as soon as they cross the boundary into my space, I can't, I can't have it. I can't. I can't. I simply can't. The other night, when my partner was leaving my house, okay, we have a huge fucking tree in our front yard. All right, we have a giant tree in our front yard. And I was trying to help him, like, because he was pretty squished um, in his parking spot. They, like, he got, he got kind of blocked in. So I was trying to help guide him to be able to, like, maneuver out uh, to go home. And there were not one two two fucking giant spider webs made from giant ass spiders that were sitting in the middle of the web of course that had made part of their web somehow on my partner's car so as i was standing there trying to guide him these spiders were just chilling like right above me and could drop down on me on an at any fucking second and i was terrified I was absolutely terrified. I cannot describe what I did. It was terrible. I had the creepy crawlies. I can't handle this nonsense. And now that I realized that those are there, like, I don't want to be out in the front of my house. I don't want to be around that tree. I don't want to be around the other trees in my house because there are other trees at my house. And I don't want to be around them. I don't want to be, like, outside of my house at all. Granted, of course I don't because it's hot as fuck, but also because of the spiders. <laughs> and, you know, I guard it, okay? I do a little gardening here and there. It's one of my many hobbies that I collect. Um, and I have a couple lavender plants that I'm trying really fucking hard to not kill uh, with this heat. I'm trying really fucking hard to keep them alive. I have, like, four sprouts that are doing really good that I want to transfer over into a bigger pot sometime soon. Um, but I'm trying so fucking hard to keep them alive. And there, guys, the amount of spider webs that are just on my flower pots alone, just on my flower pots, like they're almost entirely covered in spider webs. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, <laughs> I like had to physically move them this morning so that they weren't in the direct sunlight, you know, because they're gonna fry and they, they've been frying in this heat. So I tried to move them to be like, please don't die. Please don't die. Please, please don't die. This is my second time trying to grow lavender. The first time they died because uh, the dogs got into the plant. So it just ripped it to shreds and I was very disheartened by it. So this is my second time trying to grow lavender. And even that first time, I don't think I even got, I, I don't even think I got to see them bloom before they were destroyed which sucks but this time i'm trying really fucking hard <laughs> to not let them die but like it's difficult just to go over and water them because they're covered in spider webs and a spider could crawl up from anywhere and just latch onto me at literally any point when i'm outside and um <laughs> in case you didn't know i have massive amounts of anxiety uh <laughs> i sometimes get slightly paranoid about things that uh you don't really need to be paranoid about but uh i get paranoid about them like all the time <laughs> it's a great life that i live i love my life it's great i love everything about it um <laughs> also oh my god really funny I've been seeing so many uh, TikToks today about people who are not in America going, okay, so the American government just like confirmed aliens and what are Americans doing? Nothing. <laughs> 
people are like confused that us Americans aren't reacting to aliens being real. But I'm like, of course we're not reacting to it. This is just another day. This is just another historical event that we have to live through. And like, honestly, I'm too stressed out and burnt out from just trying to afford to pay my bills to give a shit about aliens, you know? Like, <laughs> it's really fucking cool that they're there, that we finally have it confirmed because, I mean, I've been a believer of extraterrestrial life forever because it's simply not feasible that we are the only intelligent beings in the universe that we live in. Um, <laughs> so I, I was expecting this day to come at one point, so I'm not surprised, but it's just funny seeing other people's reactions and I'm like, yeah, man, you know what? Mm, sorry, everything's just to shit here, so we don't really give a fuck about it, you know? You know? Live the life you love, love the life you live. Hashtag <laughs> off the top of my head. That's great. Great quote. I love that. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Oh god. Fun times. Genuinely. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm low-key stressed about playing Pikmin, guys. Okay? Because I, I tried playing Pikmin once in the past. I don't even remember which game it was. I just remember attempting to play a singular Pikmin game once. I tried once and I got overwhelmed and I said, nope. <laughs> I got overwhelmed and immediately said, no, I'm not going to play this game ever again. Um, but here we are. We're going to play Pikmin 4. Um, <laughs> and I'm low-key stressed. My partner has reassured me that it's easier to grasp than the other Pikmin games. And there's character customization, which I'm a sucker for a good character customization, okay? I can't help it. <laughs> and the, just the aesthetics of the game are so pleasing to me. I do worry, though, that the dog with no nose is going to piss me the fuck off because it has ever since the announcement of this dog, this alien dog. I love dogs, all right? Anyone that knows me knows that I am obsessed with dogs, okay? But this alien dog does not have a, a feasible nose. It doesn't have a visible nose. Like noses, like, like, like dogs have noses, okay? It doesn't have one of those. And it just bothers me. I keep looking over here because I have the pin set that I got for the pre-order. I got the pin set and it has the dog right on it. And I'm like, it doesn't have a fucking nose and it pisses me off. <laughs> you know, like it's so it would have been so easy to just put a nice little black nose on there or even yellow or orange to match the rest of its body. But they just decided, no, it's not going to have a nose. And it... But it has it sniffing. There's like a sniffing animation for it. Where it just sniffs the ground. And I'm like, how the fuck is it sniffing the ground without a nose? I can't... Nobody cares about this. I haven't seen anyone else talk about this or be as passionate about this dog as I am. And it's just fucking hilarious to me. And I'm really, really hoping that my brain does not fixate on that while I'm playing the game. But we shall see. <laughs> we will certainly see what happens. Um, <laughs> I just also hope I don't get overwhelmed playing it. I'm really hoping I don't. Because I love the concept of Pikmin, of the Pikmin games, okay? I love the concept. They're very aesthetically pleasing to me, but it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll cross our fingers, hope for the best. Um, but we are going to have an ad break coming in in a minute here. I try to keep the ads scheduled appropriately <clears throat> so that we don't have uh, pre-roll ads for anyone that comes in in the middle of stream. 
Um, so if you need to grab a snack, get some water, take your meds. If you haven't taken your meds yet today and you have meds you need to take, you should go take those. Um, go to the bathroom, go do whatever you gotta do while we wait for the ads to be done. And as soon as the ads are done, we will get right into the game. All right, so we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, stick around. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're here. Thank you for redeeming your daily berry cart. That's so nice of you. You got a Greppa berry? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I like how I specifically researched all the different type, all the different berries to put in that thing. And um, I don't even know what the majority of them are. Pikmin! Yes, hi Jesse! Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate that so fucking much. We're playing Pikmin today. And, um, I, I have never, I've never actually played a Pikmin game before. I attempted once, I made one attempt previously, and it didn't go over well, and I never played it again. So, we're here now, and I'm scared. <laughs> also, yes, happy Saturday, and thank you for redeeming your daily berry! Okay, we're just gonna get right to it. We're gonna do it. Fantastic. Uh, we're doing one player. We're doing one player. Oh, maybe I could do a co-op mode with my partner one time. That would be fun. That'd be a cute little day idea. <laughs> I also love how the little Pikmin is just walking by my flower that I have on my overlay. Very cute, very cute. <laughs> okay, I'm making sure I'm, like, centered right. I always feel like I'm not properly centered in my scenes. <laughs> eh. Story. This is not what Olimar used to sound like. Am I wrong? This is not how Pik how Olimar used to sound. <laughs> or did he always sound like this? I'm so confused right now. I like that it's giving us a little back background though. So there was that maybe you haven't played before. <laughs> Or don't really know just what's going on in general, you know? Pukna to Pikmin. It's so fucking cute. Nilama to Pikmin, so lumuri nima. To por, lava rasaro to ba. This dog! Weba, peraba. See, in theory, it's so cute, but I can't get over the it not having a nose thing. I can't get over it, guys. <laughs> I never played Pikmin, but I had the Pikmin game on my phone where you walk to get Pikmin and I loved it. Yes, Pikmin Bloom was so much fun. I also had that one. <laughs> Hello? What the fuck is happening right now? And now we're in color? Hello? Okay, this Olimar has a different voice from previous Olimars, correct? Like, his voice did not used to be this deep, I swear to god, and it's bugging the shit out of me. I'm gonna have to ask my partner about it later, because he would know. 
Um, <laughs> I thought of getting Bloom. I still have Pokemon Go. You should get Bloom. It's really fun, especially just if you go on walks normally or walk around at work as well. It's it's just, it's a fun time. Uh, Pikmin are so cute. They give me, oh my gosh, I want to squish you until you pop. Yes! Uh, cuteness overload. Aggression. What is it called? Cuteness aggression? Yes. <laughs> you're in Toy Story now. L honestly, that's what it feels like. Also, hi, Tuna. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Cuteness aggression? Yes. <laughs> See, the fact that the dog creature doesn't have a nose pisses me the fuck off. Is it just me? Is it just me, or do you guys- does it also piss you guys off? I need- I need to know. <laughs> Hello, I'm doing whale! I'm so glad you're doing whale, Tuna. Keep it on brand with the ocean creatures. <laughs> or with the aqu aquatic creatures, I should say. Can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing parts. Guys, the fact that this dog doesn't have a nose! I can't... We're riding the dog? I'm sorry. Is this the tutorial? Am I learning how to do everything by playing as Olimar? <laughs> oh my god. ZL? To look ahead? I'm pressing ZL and it's not- Oh, it's to angle it. Okay, okay. There's a thing over there. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Oh. How are we supposed to boop it? Exactly! Exactly. It's just- it feels wrong that it doesn't have a nose! It feels so wrong. Could be behind the hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. They even call it a pup. That's so cute. Uh, I just need to press X and hold down, then take aim when she's at full strength. I'll let her. I'll let go and let her rush. Okay. All right. Uh, X, not A. Whoop. And it barks! Guys, it's a dog with no nose. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about this this entire fucking stream. I swear to God. Leave the poor dog alone. You don't have to be so nosy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. Okay. Well, come back. Hello. Come back. There we go. Alright. Like, I can't be the only one that thinks this way, right? I'm gonna have to make a TikTok about it. <laughs> I gotta make some content out of it. <laughs> I'm gonna make a note of this in my voyage log. And hey, if it's a controversial opinion... Views are views, man. <laughs> Um, recorded log. Let's do that. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it? Hmm. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived in this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hit. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. All right. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Alright, well, we learned more things. Um... Oh! Hi! Join us! At least I have a few more Pikmin now. I like that they ride on the doggo, it's so cute! They're just hitching a ride! Oh no, wrong, wrong button. X. Whoop whoop! Yellow Pikmin! I knew I find you here. Alright, alright, alright. A whistle's great and all, but I wish it was an awooga sound just for kicks. <laughs> you should search the area below. Don't look before you leap? I'm sorry, I think we should always look in case there's creepy shit down there, right? Alright. 
Doggo takes no fall damage. <laughs> oh, hello! More Pikmin. There's... What are you guys doing over there? What the fuck? Did we get all of them? No, there's still some over there. I'll have to wait. Oh, the book over there. I don't like that jump is X. That bothers me. Can I push this? Can I- How does one- How can I get up there? I should throw my Pikmin to move- to push that down, right? I don't think I can do that yet. I don't think I've been told how to do that yet. <laughs> Leaps into unending void of darkness. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's more Pikmin over there. Is there more over here? No, I got those already. Okay. Oh, let's get them down with a rush. Oh, okay. Uh, rush. Uh, shit, hold on. There we go. They're hiding here too. Well, that didn't. I thought that was supposed to. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, hide from me! <laughs> this is so aggressive. <laughs> Come here. I hear voices. I can check the area with R. Yes, I've been doing that. I've been doing that. Oh, hey, there's more Pikmin over there. Will that... Will that reach all the way up there? It did! Nice. There's more Pikmin there. It's just a Pikmin collecting game right now. That's <laughs> all we're doing is fucking collecting Pikmin. <laughs> Surely you can go into settings and rebind keys. Yes, probably. But I feel like they're 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 set the way they are for a reason. I'm very hesitant to change uh, key bindings. <laughs> Honestly, a big fan of the hula skirt of Pikmin. The hula skirt. Oh! <laughs> Wait, I love that. That's great. <laughs> It's the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose! Track down one of those shit parts, girl. Oh. Oh! Alright! We need to stay on that scent. What nose, Olimar? What nose? Exactly! What fucking nose? They don't have a nose! I'm collecting all of the Pikmin. I'm collecting all of the Pikmin. I simply have to! Do I want to know what's up there? I don't know. Do you want to know? <laughs> I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> Why are you asking? Hi, Boho! Good to see you! How you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for joining us. We're, we're in the tutorial of Pikmin 4. <laughs> And I'm still pissed off that this dog doesn't have a nose. Omar is such a troll he is. That he is. Okay, we're rushing this door. Let's do it. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. I don't like that. I don't like the looks of that. I really don't like the way that that looks. And I'm scared. I'm scared. A creature? Yeah, a creature. With a lot of spikes. I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Probably. Okay. Yeah, how am I gonna... Oh, okay. So he shoots the things off. This is gonna take technique, and I don't got technique, man. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the timing is right. Could do that. Oh, that looks like a good idea. In the meantime, let's circle and wait for a chance to strike. <laughs> okay. Ah! We'll get that thing and take back my part. Ah! Whoop! Oh, shit. That was bad. That was bad. 
That was bad. I didn't do that well. There we go. Nice! Okay! That wasn't too bad! I was worried for nothing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I did that correctly, but um, we did it. It's a message log. It's interstellar radio! We located it at last! With this back in my- Oh! That's what that is. Never mind. With it back in my position, I can finally call for help! Alright, it's like a little alien hedgehog! <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it, it looked more armadillo-like, in my opinion. <laughs> it looked more like an armadillo than a hedgehog. It's like an armadillo-hedgehog cross. Wait, we just killed baby hedgehog? Oh wait, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. We kill creatures. <laughs> we murder innocent creatures. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I wanted to explore more down there. They have a dog too? Okay. <laughs> Everyone casually has this dog creature. <laughs> because of course. Because of course they crash. Of course. There has to be like something fucking toxic in the atmosphere for this to keep fucking happening. <laughs> yeah, devil shipwrecks are rare. <laughs> One left. <laughs> Me! Well, I don't think you're putting your hope in the right person here, buddy, but... We do what we gotta do. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corp is now your top priority. Create your ID badge and deploy it immediately! Ooh. <laughs> yes! Okay, yep, I am pale as fuck, correct? Um... Do we want to be... Uh, I think I like her better. I like that body better. Um, hmm. Are those buttons as eyes? Are we in Coraline? Are we in Coraline now? What in the world? That's creepy as fuck. Why is that an option? I don't know, man. Those are screws. Um, those are okay. Those are normal. Those are interesting. Um, I don't like any of these faces. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't like any of these faces. Um, hmm. Uh, I kind of just want to go with this one. Is this one weird? <laughs> I kind of want to go with this face. I don't know why. This face is just calling to me for some reason. Okay, you'll be able to change your look and name later. That's good to know. Wait, no, no, no. I want these ones. Okay. And the hair... I wish they had more options. Honestly, this is the best one. <laughs> Purple! Thank the fuck they had purple hair as an option. Let's do green suit, or should we do completely purple? What color suit should we do, guys? Should we go all purple? Or should we do should we do some blue or some green? Those are the other two options I would want to do. I don't want to do red. Blue, purple, or green. What are we thinking? It's like the exact shade of purple that I want my hair to be also, which is really cool. Hmm, yeah. Um, I'm kind of digging the full purple look, honestly. <laughs> but is that too much purple? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, same. You don't think it's too much? <sighs> Never too much. All right, okay, okay. You've convinced me. I'm just gonna put Eevee. <laughs> That's the name. There we go. All right. Yes, let's do it. Home planet Karoot! The rescue corps newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. <sighs> All right, off we go. The fact that we can change our look. My pot is purple too. That makes me so happy. <laughs> All the purple. Everything must be purple. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. I love that. <laughs> Alright. What are we doing? Ugh, I need to scoot up. I didn't know you liked purple. No, really? Well, you learn something new every day, Tuna. <laughs> oh my god, my little light is purple too! Guys, this is a great decision. This is a fantastic decision. Don't- I don't do pot, but if it's purple... Whatever- was it- hashtag was it paying attention? What? What is happening? <laughs> I like how it's just casually floating there. Alright. Let's go say hi to the doggo, because we're gonna make a doggo friend right off the bat, and it has a purple collar! Guys, everything's purple! <laughs> I made everything purple, and now everything in the game is gonna be purple, and I'm so excited for it! I... I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Um... <clears throat> Ochi! Okay, guys, I can't get a... This dog... Okay, again. Ochi... Ochi... Is adorable, okay? Is it adorable? Little fluff ball that I want to squish. Okay, it's adorable, but I simply cannot get past that it doesn't have a nose. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> it looks wrong, <sighs> and it upsets me. <laughs> This young, loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs. It's specifically called a space dog. That's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Alright. Uh, I'm joking, silly. Your stream overlays purple. Your cat ears are purple. Your room is, like, looks purplish. Yeah, yeah. That's a dog. Yeah, it's kind of half of one. Yep, it's a space dog. It's an elite breed of space dog, though. Elite. Maybe they were specifically bred to not have a nose. Because somehow not having a nose is more beneficial than having a nose? I don't know. I- it's baffling to me. I don't know why they decided to do that. And it pisses me off. <laughs> you encountered the rescue pup cores- uh, the rescue cores- Rescue pup- Oh, gee! The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. So cute! Cute little doggo. You gonna help me? You gonna pull that out of the way for me? That's so kind of you. So very kind. Oh, hey! There- Are all of them gonna be wearing purple? <laughs> Everyone- Everything's purple! Everything's gonna be purple! Oh my god! Okay. Now send. Do it. Oh, it's coming away from the dirt. I don't know if that's gonna hold, man. Oh, it held. Okay. <laughs> oh, the dirt has been removed. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, here's our friend, also in purple. <laughs> I just love that everything's purple. Oh my god. Um, uh-huh. Is that you, Ochi? 
If anything happens to this dog, though... <laughs> thank you. Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. God. We're all... Yeah, little goofy bean boys! Yes. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising! I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Well, hey. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. As the Rescue Corps command of a uh, comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. All right. Good to know. Is that why his hair kind of looks like a wrench? Sorry. <laughs> his hair kind of looks like a like a wrench. Just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, you went up with Colin, the Rescue Corps comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? I don't know. Hale. My path got cut off by a small landslide when I, when and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Evie, isn't it? I couldn't be more graceful, grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal, the rest of the rescue corps. Well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no, what happened? I have no idea. <laughs> there were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. There has to be something in this atmosphere, man. Like, how the fuck do all these ships keep crashing? Just coincidentally, any ship that enters the atmosphere fucking crashes. There has to be something in it. <laughs> it's almost embarrassing. Can you we should be embarrassed, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. We could try! We sure can try, and if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. I'm fully con convinced it's a conspiracy surrounding the company that builds the ship. Strokes peered mischievously. Potentially! Potentially! <laughs> oh, before I forget, take this. <clears throat> it's an official- Oh my god, it's also purple. Guys, the tablet is also purple! <laughs> Oh, uh, we'll use them to share information, thank goodness, I always carry an extra. <laughs> Tap that up on the left side there to open and review our, your missions. <clears throat> oh my god. It's just a fully purple world, man. Please <laughs> have any time to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Cool. Close. <clears throat> I'm a purple girl in a purple world. Yes. No, <laughs> I'm a purple girl in a purple world. <laughs> <clears throat> I still haven't seen the Barbie movie, guys. I still haven't seen the Barbie movie. And it's very upsetting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go see it on Wednesday with my partner. But it's it's taken too long for me to watch it, and I'm upset about it. <gasps> Z! Thank you for the resub, Z! What the fuck? For four months? Thank you, dude! What the fuck? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you so fucking much. I hope you're having a fantastic day! We're playing Pikmin and everything is purple! Everything is purple! <laughs> I made one choice, and now everything is purple! And I'm here for it. Um, <laughs> neither I really want to, but I also want to see the Haunted Mansion. Wait! See the Haunted Mansion? I'm sorry. Is there a Haunted Mansion movie? That I don't know about? Hold on. There's a movie that just came out? With Danny DeVito? Hold on! <laughs> Hold, we're pausing. We're pausing gameplay. Also, it's pissing me off that I'm not... I feel like my camera is not where it should be. That feels better. Okay. Hold on! How have I not... Oh. Guys. Wait! Okay, I remember the Haunted Mansion movie from 2003, so this is just a new one? Is it like a continuation? Like a part two? Or is it like a completely new story? 
A woman and her son enlist a motley crew of so-called spiritual experts to help rid their home of supernatural squatters? Dude. Dude, how did I not know this existed? Was there any actual promo for this? I haven't seen a single thing about this. What the fuck? I'm very excited. Okay, sorry. I should you not, I cried when I first saw the trailer. No, it's a different story. It focuses more on the mansion and characters from the actual ride. That's so cool! Ah! I've seen trailers on TikTok. Dude, I don't know how I didn't see any. Because I'm, I'm on Haunted Mansion TikTok. So I don't know how the fuck I didn't see the trailer for this. That's ridiculous. I've seen a lot of commercials, but that's because I'm in like seven different Haunted Mansion communities on Facebook. That's so valid. <laughs> that's so valid. Okay. Well, now that's being added onto my partner's movie list. Um, how did you not know we're both on Mansion TikTok? Dude! <laughs> mansion talk i don't know man <laughs> i think it, it mainly pops up more around when spooky season is is creeping up but oh my god i love it i love you even more now shut up <laughs> okay stop it now let's go find the as a shepherd <laughs> okay back to the game we got sidetracked a little bit. Hold on. Let me see if I if there's anything I can No. Okay. Oh. No, that's not anything. I'm it's too early in the game. There's not gonna be anything yet. There's simply not gonna be anything yet, and that's fine. Throws compliments with trebuchet. Stop it. Oh my god, the spaceship is purple! God is it! Why does all of this purple make me so fucking excited? I have no right to be this excited over a fucking color. <laughs> this is actually ridiculous. <laughs> These are gonna be some interesting fucking clips I make in this game. <laughs> I'm seeing it now, just me getting <laughs> extremely more excited every time I see something purple. Uh, purple's an objectively fantastic color. It is! Uh, it is. <laughs> it's also a very stereotypical bisexual color. <laughs> um, I can see the shit, but I have no idea how we're gonna reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. <laughs> okay. The plants on this planet are gigantic! No duh. Always make sure the area is safe with R. I am! Oh hey, what's this? <gasps> Look, that- Is that flower about to be purple? There are purple tips on that flower, I swear to god. If that flower is gonna be purple, I'ma lose my shit! Okay, look at this! See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with us as Shepherd. Guys. I swear to god. These are perp these are gonna be purple flowers. I'm obsessed. That's amazing. It's it is amazing. Okay, what's this? Can you do something with that? Are you digging? Okay, good. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. All right. <clears throat> Good pup, Ochi. You're making easy... Okay. Almost there. Oh, hey! <laughs> Why did that remind me of the mini... The m and minis containers that you just pop the top open, you know? You know, that's the exact sound of the mini M&M container. Am I wrong? <laughs> How do you dog dig if no front paw? Shut the fuck up, Jesse! <laughs> You're so right. You're, I think it was digging with its nose. Or maybe it was with its feet. I'm gonna have to look back at that. We'll, 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 keep, we'll keep a watchful eye for next time it digs. But oh my god. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corpse pride and joy. A space dog's anatomy makes me angry for no reason. Same! Jesse, are we the same person? I'm sorry. Are we just the same person? 
<laughs> huh? This looks like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. Probably. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. My real life name is Jesse, so when you're like, shut the fuck up, Jesse, it jump scared me. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Tuna. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Fuck it. Hello, hello. That's the spirit. Here we go. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Fuck it. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's jump to our deaths. <laughs> Burrow of beginnings. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit my mic. That's my bad. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Oh, God. Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. <clears throat> okay, wait. Wait. <clears throat> I just realized something. So the dog that Olimar has is big enough for him to ride. Okay, does that mean Ochi is eventually going to get big enough to where we can ride him? I assume that that's the case, and that's why they were teaching us those mechanics. But I just made that connection just now. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh oh, there's a thing over there, but I wanna look over here. Oh, there's nothing over here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh. <clears throat> Looks like a dead end. No, really, Colin. <sighs> oh. Oh no. There's creatures. <gasps> oh no! And he's also wearing purple. Even the bandana's purple. Oh my god. Oh my, what a place to find the captain. That's the captain. All right, that terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corp team. Look sharp, Evie. Rescue cores. Core? I don't know. Um, this is no time for a history lesson. Lesson. Hurry up and do something. All right. Well, let's go over here because there's probably a Pikmin in here. Oh no, never mind. Um, send. Attack? Oh, hey! Easy peasy. Cackling. <laughs> Wait, if I hold my- Wait, hold on. <laughs> I missed some messages. The way they run is the silliest thing ever. Oh my gourd. Yeah. For facts. Uh, if I hold my breath long enough, I can be purple for you. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please! Don't do that to yourself, Tuna. <laughs> Please breathe properly. <laughs> After we took care of the creatures down here, can you get down? Oh my god. I hope so, my arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. Alright. We did it. What's, what's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Disclaimer, the streamer does not recommend holding your breath until purple. Yes, facts. I do not recommend doing that in, in the slightest. <laughs> Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you! I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Well, I'm special, okay? All dogs just love me, and just that's that. Is is that is that simple? <laughs> oh my god, what is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Well, what do you know? A 99th generation. I'm sorry. How long? Wait. 
How long and or short are these people's lifespans? 99th generation? Okay, she was saved by a rescue pup as a child, uh, sparking a lifelong love of her, for her furry colleagues. Okay. I was actually terribly uh, bitten by a dog when I was younger. It was a husky. Fun fact, huskies are my favorite dogs. It was a traumatizing experience, but not traumatizing enough for me to hate dogs. <laughs> They should be dead before the end of stream. Uh, honestly. <laughs> I've been Captain Shepard to the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. <laughs> I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. <laughs> Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? Hmm. We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Oh my goodness, my hiccups. Something wrong? You didn't say anything, Evie. Copy that is the rescue corpse way of saying, understood. Let's try it again together, okay? What? Copy that. <laughs> okay. Very good. Excellent reply. <laughs> this is giving um, father teaching you how to give a firm handshake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ignore me. Ignore me. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Rescue Journal. Fantastic. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. Okay. Um, I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well, Irma Shepard. Captain in command. Alright. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. Oh, I mean, I didn't know, uh, me having... being friend with a dog, uh, needed approval, but okay. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Alright. We gotta bust through those now, don't we? Um, but isn't it- Oh, okay. Quite the conundrum. What would you do, Eevee? Rush! Go! Fuck yeah! That was quite a rush! Yeah, it was. Alright, here we go. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket shop. Sorry, we're not even in. The, we're not even at the ship yet. <laughs> we're not even at the ship yet. I I can I foresee me singing that song many a time during the stream while playing this game. Uh, fair warning. <laughs> My word! To think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how were we supposed to climb up there? You don't. You just. Zoom! Hey, there's something under the light! Zoom! <laughs> zoom in through the sky! <laughs> Literally as we zoom through the sky! Oh my god! Zoom it through the sky! Little Einsteins! Sorry. Fun fact, I used to actually watch that a lot. Because I, I did a lot of babysitting, that's why I was watching it. <laughs> Not for any other reason. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just I'm just giving so much Eevee lore today is what's happening. Um, I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. Eh, well, <laughs> my kids used to watch it. Nice. Hey, we got a braviary in the chat. Anyone wants a braviary. 
I completely agree, though in this case your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Hell yeah. Purple flag! Mm. Everything's gonna be purple! Sorry, that was very loud. Um, the Earthy Corpse flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located the and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Water. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. Uh, I had a remix of the Einstein's theme song on my workout playlist for a really long time. Dude, it's a bop, though. That song's a fucking bop, and it has no right to be such a bop, you know? You know? Uh, I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Evie and Ochi. Okay, we got about 12 minutes till we take another ad break. I'm just letting you guys know now, and that way I hopefully pay attention to it a bit more. Um, so I don't forget to do the ad break at the correct time! <laughs> I'm not great at that sometimes. Uh, I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. <laughs> I guess so! It's fine, she's just in, a d in denial. Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course! And good for you! You did it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. What's up with this captain? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hey, there's a trinket! New? What's new? Oh, we got a map! <gasps> Ooh, map. I love me a good map. Oh, the ID badges? We could see. Oh, we can just easily see the other crewmates that we just haven't found yet, but we can see what they look like. Interest. What are these icons? Why do they have these icons on them? Why is my nose so itchy? Checking your surroundings. Rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I have it? Attack this. <sighs> I want to know what's in these flowers. I want to know. Okay. We shall wait. We will be patient. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated and that spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. Damn, good thing we got here at this exact moment. <laughs> what? Oh no, will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Everything's purple! Sorry, here it is. Take a look at this. <laughs> mm. I found treasure! After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deducted that I've deduced sorry, I can read. English is my first language. I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Alright. Close. In layman's terms. We should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but at this point we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Mm. Woo. 
It needs 300? Damn. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepherd. Okay. Those who collect this treasure will need a way to transport it. Pikmin! For that, we can use the SS Beagle. It's called the Beagle? It's called the SS Beagle. Very cute. I love it. Very, very cute. I approve. I approve of this name. <laughs> okay. Uh, we just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? I don't know. What is it? Gemstones. A random circle of gemstones. Perfectly placed. It is some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. Alright. Here we are. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Alright. Okay. See that sparkly around? See anything? Yeah, right here. Is that a fork? Is that a fork? <laughs> this has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie. Press plus to open the radar map. Okay. 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 This looks pretty sparkly to me. <laughs> Presence of sparkly confirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Cool. All right. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But, um, how are we going to move it? It's a great question. Okay. See, it's digging with its mouth. It's not digging with its feet. Excellent. It's on the move. What even is that? I don't know what that is. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Alright. Okay, it's not one for one. That counted as 50, thank god. <laughs> he has energy detected. If we can collect 250 more units of sparkly, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on sparkly alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then, we need to search the area for more treasure. Alright! Well, we did that. I saw an- oh, there's one up there. Oh my god, it's a Game Boy! It's a fucking Game Boy! Don't land on the doggo! Game Boy advanced. <laughs> that was close, too close. And it's probably too heavy. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It won't budge. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, there we go. There's the little Pikmin guy. Pikmin, uh, uh, what's it called? Pikmin onion? Pikmin spaceship? Hmm. Pikmin pod? <laughs> what's this? Is it a treasure? Nope. Go, puppy. It seems even out she can't carry it alone. Oh, I can carry that though. Go, OG, go. Go, OG, go. Oh my god, the way that they walk? 
I wasn't even paying attention to that earlier. You did point it out, Jesse, and I just didn't acknowledge it. The way that they walk is a little funky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pikmin! They just goofy flail, they do! Huh? It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. <laughs> if this is an onion, then what is that sprout? How did I not pay attention to the way they were walking before? They, they're just flailing around. They're just being goofy and flailing around. <laughs> it's so great. I love it. Oh my god. That makes me smile, me too. Our first Pikmin! Pikmin, 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 Pikmin. I think this would be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. <gasps> no! I wasn't paying attention to the ad timer. Okay, ads are gonna start in about a minute. Um, I try to time the ads appropriately and take a break while the ads are happening so no one misses any of this fantastic gameplay that we have going on currently. Um, <laughs> and if you need to go grab a snack, grab some water, take your meds. If you haven't taken your meds yet, you should go do that. Um, or go to the bathroom. Do whatever you gotta do. Uh, I'm gonna throw up the be right back screen and we will be right back as soon as the ads are over. Okay, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, stick around. <laughs> okay, sorry that took so long. Shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really had to go to the bathroom and I couldn't, I, you know, when nature calls. You gotta answer it, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. <laughs> Pikmin! Look at that! Oh, she's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well! And, um, Captain, how long do you tend to hide back there? Okay, why are they Captain? They're obviously terrified of everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Throw. Send. <laughs> heck yeah, heck yeah. More pigment. Pigment, pigment, pigment. I'm so excited now. <laughs> We actually get to get all the Pikmin. What? More sprouts? A red seedling thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. Very mysterious. I'll just wait. We'll wait a second. Um, let me throw you over there. <coughs> and we get have you get one of these. I want to get all the Pikmin. Oh, the Pikmin. I'm gonna send you up here. I can. Yes, I can. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. Wait, why am I so happy playing this game right now? <laughs> Okay. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Go get this one. Help. Hello? You're able to get the other one. Why can't you get this one? Hello? Can you... What? Hold on. Why can't you get... Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's pick up all the Pikmin. Let's get all the Pikmin. Heck yeah. I love that it auto picks all of them. That's a lot of Pikmin. Heck yeah, it's a lot of Pikmin. Alright. 
Let's get this Game Boy. Just everyone. Everyone go. Oh, you are left behind. I don't understand why this is making me so happy, but I love it. Ooh, hell yeah! Uh, what was that for? What did it- what did it blink for? Ah, new missions! Oh, the energy source. Okay, we did that one. The rescue. Command formations. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I got that. Pellet posies? Yep. Yep, got that. Wait. There was something else in there that I didn't... Alright, it doesn't matter. Okay, another treasure collected. Fuck yeah. Did keep this up? Yeah, there's one over here. Fuck yeah. This is so fucking cute. Hi, I'm just vibing right now. <laughs> I want to get that other one. Don't let me. Oh, now it does. Why wouldn't it let me do it before? Annoying. Hold on, let me get my other Pikmin. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Evie and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. Yes, yes. Keep up the good work. The big men are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. <laughs> now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Do I still get my other Pikmin? Wait, but I didn't get my other Pikmin. <laughs> but I didn't get my other Pikmin! Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Alrighty. Very shiny. Very sparkly. Not shiny. Sparkly. <laughs> okay. Heck yeah! It's up and running! Restart the SS Shepherd using the sparkly mixture I did from the treasure. We did it! The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we pick up any signals. <sighs> I still want to get my other Pikmin, though! Uh, I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue op officers and even Captain Olimar. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry for the yawn. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Alright. Oh, we did that. A noble Bident? Bident? Interesting. Stone of Advancement and a Path Creator. Alright! Okay! <laughs> That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects? <laughs> we encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. No! Not the AI! <laughs> now AIs in Pikmin 2? Shit. Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. It is neat, but it is neat. But a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. <laughs> Facts. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I had been I had been roughing it for long enough, and there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? 
We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. Yeah. Encountered our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Evie. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Okay. Did that. Did we did both the things. Did oh, I see you've used a pin! I didn't mean to, so then I guess I don't need to tell you that it's an easy as easy as selecting a mission and pressing A to pin and unpin it. I what? commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to start uh to keep track of your objectives and progress. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Day two. This is so cute. Oh, those new uh, things on the flowers. Cute. Okay, so I can get more pigment. Oh. All right, I guess this is everyone. I call oh, this hi. strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Hey. Here's the latest status report. As of today, hey. two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Evie. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepherd is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Evie, Ochi, fly to the area where our raider picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Kyle and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direct direction and guidance from here. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepherd. Uh, wireless communication at all times, so you will have our full support. Hey, Simply! Good to see you! Thank you for stopping in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, we're trying to... We're, got, we're making our way through Pikmin, and I accidentally made everything purple. Accidentally, but not accidentally. I just wanted my character to be purple, and then turns out it turns everything purple. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy with my decision. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be a good pause with Ochi by your side. The two of you make a great team. Huh? What? Oh! <laughs> I love purple. Me too! Thank you for redeeming your daily berry. What'd you get? You got a Watt berry? I will never know what these are. <laughs> Uh, should we officially put it on pause? No. no, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our missions list just in case. On that note, I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Uh, Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps op officers. <laughs> Reading is hard sometimes, guys. You have a mission for me? You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. Oh, cool! I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? No. I'm not. I want to get all my Pikmin! I want to get all my Pikmin! All of them! Heck yeah! Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin! I want to get more Pikmin. Oh, I meant to throw a Pikmin, but that's fine. I think I can only have 20? Is what it looks like? Your gamos are just so cute! Thank you! Uh, I appreciate that! I did not make them! I got them off of Etsy. I forget the artist, but... Um, yeah, they are not my own. I did not create them myself. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, alright. Yes. Okay. So... I guess I can go now. So we can only- we can only have max of 20 Pikmin. I don't think we should try to get any more. Because <sighs> I don't want them to end up dying! Okay, yeah, we have 19. We can only fit 20 in the onion. For now. 
Uh, I didn't create mine either, but they're custom. My friend makes them. Oh, that's so cool! Uh, I was debating looking for someone to make them custom for me, but like... I'm so picky <laughs> when it comes to art and things, because I'm an artist myself. I'm just not super savvy with digital art yet. And um, I wouldn't, I would feel bad if like I commissioned someone to make them and then they just didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. And I wouldn't want to like be like, oh, actually. <laughs> You know, I'm just very picky. <laughs> uh, I want to make my own eventually once I have the time to actually learn and figure out digital art a bit better. Um, <laughs> I just simply don't have the time currently. <laughs> okay. We know about that. The voyage log, the onions. Cool. We know about all those. Okay, cool. That's all that. I think we can go now. Or can they actually... Can I have them break down this wall? Or can they not do that yet? I don't think they can do that yet. I don't think that's a thing that I'm supposed to know about yet. <laughs> okay. Let's explore. Let's go. We're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Let's go! Which area would you like to explore? I don't know. Where can I go? I guess right there? <laughs> Sun Speckled Terrace. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. It's not too far away from where we are. <laughs> the music, the soundtrack is so good. <laughs> All right. Rescues, treasures, and onions. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I swear I always have to yawn after I hiccup, and I don't understand why that is. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight, guys. <laughs> I pre-made a meal the other day, but I had that for lunch, so I can't have it for dinner. But I... I could make a PB&J sandwich for dinner. <laughs> that might be what I end up doing. Oh, goodness. Very boring dinners. I need to go shopping. <laughs> there are no rules when adulting. Exactly. I agree, I agree. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. What is that? No See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? Oh, it's a clock! Okay. It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers <laughs> during the day. Hmm. Oh my goodness, uh, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Be that! Alright, we're counting on you. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and it can take all the help we can get. I think you put those Pikmin to good use. I will do my gosh darndest. Oh, the Pikmin! Okay. Yep, I did. I did do that. Okay. Um. Hold on, I want to. Hold on. Wait. Nice. Okay, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't remember what these are for again. When we take the bodies, I think it upgrades the onion. I think. I don't remember. Let's see. Oh! It just gives more Pikmin. I thought it upgraded the onion. Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds? Based on life signals from the inside of the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. 
Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. Okay, so I can have more pick. I can get more Pikmin. Good to know. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, I guess we'll just have as grab as many as we can. Why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose a shit ton of Pikmin. have more than the number on it. I guess not. That's fine. Okay. Did all that. Okay, we gotta get up there to get that somehow. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna get up there. But we'll see. Also, this ice. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like a treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Elamar's voyage log. Uh, raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. It should be able to find many applications for it. Huh! Cool! I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about materials science. Okay. If we had our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Okay. Alright. Everyone grab some materials. Grab everyone else. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Well, let's pick a mega. Cool, cool, cool. Did that. Um, I don't think we can bring down walls yet. Looks like we can go over here. Oh. Is it my needy? I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need... Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. Hmm. Oh. He has a sharp sense of smell, even though he doesn't have a nose. Um, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. <laughs> use Y to open actions and then use L to select a search command. To begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. What nose? What fucking nose? This dog doesn't have a nose! I swear to god! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dan Dory skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. What is Dan Dory? I don't know what the fuck that is! You look a little confused. Yes. I have never heard of the term Dan Dory. <laughs> Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency. That's me! I'm the queen of efficiency! <laughs> Execute your plans quickly! Well, okay. In real life, I am the queen of efficiency. I want everything to flow as efficiently as humanly possible. In video games? I am not good at that. I tend to... <laughs> I tend to find the most complicated and polluted, convoluted, that's the word, convoluted ways to do things in video games, which uh, is certainly a choice for myself. Uh, yay. <laughs> its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it is still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open Y and command Ochi to sniff out our missing comrades. Okay! Can do! I'm hitting Y. Oh, I have to hold it. Forgot. Pick up a scent! Do it! Go, little doggy! Oh, this way. <laughs> the flailing! Oh, 
Pikmin run the same way! That's insane. We need to do something about this wall. There we go. Yes, yes, we're working on it. We're working on it. Oh! More of that material. Cool. Alright. Oh! Alright. Huzzah! We can get past that wall. What are these? For them to get their flowers! Yay! Did you see that? It bloomed a flower! What's going on here? Hmm, that sustenance is- that substance, not sustenance. Substance, that's also technically sustenance for the Pikmin. Uh, that substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. All right. Good thing I have more. Come over here. Everybody, drink up. Oh, and there's still more. Let's go back and grab the rest of my Pikmin. I wish I could walk faster. Oh my god, the Pikmin walk exactly the same as we walk, and that's fucking hilarious. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Just silly goofy walkers, they are! They're so silly and goofy! Okay. I need the rest of these guy to guys to walk faster. <laughs> oh no, I just realized we have health bars on the side there. I'm not excited for that. Drink, drink your nectar. Drink your nectar. There you go. Perfect! Yay! Okay, that's another thing to go underground. I like how it just randomly opens. Like, we don't have to open it ourselves. It just opens for us. By the way, there's an inke in the chat if anyone wants an inke. Uh, look, there's a cave here too! This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Really? Right now? Ooh! Lost pre- No, I know where I'm going! I know where I'm going! I'll go down in a- Oh, I don't like that, though. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back. Heck yeah! We did it! Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh no, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. I wasn't trying to call you guys back. But I do want to get that. Why will it not let me? Hold on. Go backwards. Switch to Pikmin. Okay. Hello? Hello? Can you let me throw them up there? Why not? I want to get the thing. It's not letting me get it. Why? What the fuck? Okay. What did I do that for then? Okay. Let's go back and get the rest of our Pikmin. The way they walk is so fucking funny. No, I haven't. I don't need you to keep asking me! No, I'm fine! Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Also... Can I have... Um... Oh, she pick up the scent again? Go, go, go! Okay. Just to see if we're on the right track! If we actually have to go in the underground? I know we have to, but... <laughs> Just to double check. 
Is it to go in the underground? Oh, it just stops here. So it probably went in the underground. Alright, I guess we'll go down. I guess. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. By sheer coincidence. Hmm. Last Frost Cavern. I entered a cave to look for SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies a the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimated to that cold air. That's the new Pikmin. Uh, this planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. Obviously, the SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the Onion for the time being. Okay. Alright. Let's do it, I guess. So I have to put him back? Oh, no, no, cancel. I want all of the Pikmin I can hold. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's go! Alright! It's an interesting concept that they put in there. The art of Dandori. Organizing your tasks strategically and working efficiently to execute your plans. So, it's an interesting concept to have in a video game. Like, I get the concept, I understand why, but it's- it's- it's intriguing to me. Very interesting. Good boy, Ochi. He's picking up a castaway scent. It has to be one of our- Castaways. We are castaways. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it has- <laughs> It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. Ay yeah yay. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. What are they gonna do with those? Do they just go into the thing? What's this? That's not treasure? Huh? Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparkly -um. Okay, cool. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. Alright. Dope. Um, Y? No. X. Yeah. Oh! Ooh! There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go over here. Nope. Here, there we go. Go! Nice. Oh, more nectar. We don't really need it right now, but it's okay. enough? No, one more. Okay. There we go. What am I hearing? Oh, that thing! See? There's there's the Ice Pikmin! Ice Pikmin! Hell yeah. Alright. Ooh! One out of four! Okay, alright. Need all the energy we can get. Alright. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we did that. Let's go over here. Nice. Ice Pikmin! One of the brand new Pikmin. <laughs> Are these Pikmin too? Let's see, the voyage log says... The Ice Pikmin. I smell... French fries. And now I'm upset because now I want French fries? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I always thought of Pikmin as plant like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water though, they really don't like it. Good to know, I'll take note of that. Their bodies are made of ice. Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible! Apparently. Oh! Oh, hey, upgraded! That seems like a lot of Pikmin. 
Is is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's take one of those, too. And we'll go onwards! Oh, there's more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What is that? What is that? Oh! Paint! Cool. Oh! What even are those? They look like giant berries. What the fuck? Just like that. Frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order uh, to the Pikmin or Ochi. Oh! Cool. Can I... Can I have you come back? Please? No? There we go. Oh my god. Crazy Pikmin? Oh, Good job, Ochi. Hold on, I want to go grab all my stuff. Oh, my Pikmin. And then we'll go forward. Uh, so I also want to do this. Go! Oh! More nectar. Get, drink, drink, drink nectar. Oh, they have yellow flowers. All right, all right. Okay, let me grab the rest of the Pikmin, and then we will get the survivor. Yes, I know where my Pikmin are. Stop it. I know exactly where they are. Okay, there we go. Have everybody nectar up. Drink nectar. There you go. Alright. Fantastic. They're so cute, the little noises! <laughs> very cute, very cute. What's this? There's more over here. Oh, yellow Pikmin! Fuck yeah! Um, here we go. Go! Hell yeah. More Pikmin! Pikmin! Fuck yeah. Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Obviously. Right. Can I put more? I can! Just go do all that. Real quick. Alright. Oh! That's a lot of Pikmin on there. Alright. And then let's bust these open. There you go. Fantastic. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just throw the rest of them on there. Let's do it. Why not? <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh. Nice, nice. Got the onion. Huh? This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the service so we can compare it with the other onion. Alright. Grab these guys. And here we go. <gasps> we found a castaway. Wait, but his suit isn't purple! Why isn't his suit purple? Hurry and, ca and check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. Okay. Oh, I just sent the doggo. Okay. Well, let's go back. <laughs> Can I put more? No, I cannot. I can't? No. Okay. That's fine. Let's have these other Pikmin drink some nectar. Grab you. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, there's more that, that don't have their flowers yet. Let's come over here. Everybody get your flowers. Come yeah, on. Drink your nectar. Drink your nectar! There we go. Okay. Oh, 
Ochi's taking a sweet ass a, a sweet ass time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. You did it. Let's take a look and see what the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ! An inventor, material engineer, and a lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. So his outfit... But his outfit wasn't purple! Oh, they, the stars, he's alright. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS Shepard. His te techno technical knowledge, I can speak, will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Hell yeah. So, we found Russ. Who? Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back. Are you all done down here? I think so. So you can make your way to the exit. Let's go. Uh, I feel bad though that Ochi is not as fast as the rest of us. <laughs> He's just chilling behind. Okay. Wait, but it said there were two more uh, treasures, weren't there? Was that? No, those were just their flowers. Okay. Let me see. Um, tablet menu? Okay. This guy. Alright. Uh, rescue journal. Cool. We got the command thing. Awesome. We got that. Cool. Um. Okay. Wasn't there? There was more, wasn't there? Radar map? Because it only had... Maybe it's just this in this area in general, not necessarily out here. Red Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin maturation. Interesting. Wild Pikmin preservation instincts. The Pikmin nest. Oh, got so many facts. So many facts. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Are they covered? Just gonna leave our ship down here. <laughs> Return to the surface. Let's go. <laughs> We're all just flying. <laughs> Ooh! Rescued someone else! Director of Destiny, Refreshing Goo, and Seven Creatures. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it was lotion. I thought it was paint. <laughs> nice, we got more Pikmin! Cool, and we got yellow Pikmin. Oh, it said we did 100% of it! Fuck yeah! I just realized, dude, my processing is so bad. <laughs> my processing is so fucking delayed. It's ridiculous. Simply ridiculous. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm wondering what games we should play next week. <laughs> I have so many games to play, guys. Is ridiculous. Simply ridiculous. I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Evie, but something's off. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about a sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. Because that makes total logical sense. Uh, I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Cool. New log entry and new onion! It's a yellow onion. Kinda looks like garlic. <laughs> oh. Hey, the onion sucked it up! Voyage log says that the white bulb is called Flarlic! Flarlic! <laughs> if we bring a Flarlic to the onion, it'll increase the number of Pikmin it releases onto the surface at any time by 10! Fuck yeah! Whoa, that's a bit- that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin! Okay! Oh, I already have 30. I can't take out anymore! <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Nice. I'm glad we got to explore 100%. Okay. So now, can we go back over there and get that thing? Because I want to get the treasure. That... Also, what is this? What is this? What is happening? Oh, they got things! Wow, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. But alright. Good to know. Okay, can I throw the Pikmin up here now? Why can't I throw the Pikmin up here? I simply don't understand. It's very annoying. Hello. Hello. No! Ah, okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Let me... What else do we have to do? Let me see. Okay, we did that already. There's another guy over there. Oh, hey, there's a strawberry! Can I get these guys to go up there? Can I... Can I get up? Why can't I get up places? Am I supposed to be able to jump and I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing? I don't know. I simply don't know. Let's just put all the fish in there. <laughs> just grab all the stuff. There we go. I just have the doggo now. Okay. Oh, what's that? Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. So, we gotta go get the Pikmin again. <laughs> I'm all out of Pikmin, so... Uh, back we go. Let's grab more. They sound like turnips from Octonauts. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. I don't think I watched much of Octonauts, or I ever saw much of Octonauts. But I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright. Got more material. Come back. Okay. So now... We'll try and repair the bridge? Somehow? I don't know how we're gonna do that. I got no clue. I still feel like we should be able to get up to more places, but I don't know, man. I simply do not know. Okay, that's gonna be another spot for our ship to land. I don't think we can do anything with this right now. We have to get other pieces. Hmm. Alright, well let's just kill this guy real quick. Huh? Under the circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. Oh, I wonder why. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. I was about to... Ew. No! Oh, gee! No! Oh, she's tail is burning! Put the fire out with me right away! Well, yeah! God, oh my god! I didn't know that could happen! Why was it doing that? Okay, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! Okay, we did it. Okay, good. Alright. Woo! What is that? That was a tadpole! What the fuck? What is happening? Ah! It's a tadpole! I froze it! It- it froze? Don't just stay in there, now's your chance! Well, this is interesting. Oh, nectar! Cute! Okay, let's throw some of you guys 
Over here. Oh, nope. Never mind. I guess we can't go over there yet. Oh, there's more of those tadpoles, though. Well, let's leave them for now. We'll leave them for now. Why don't you take that back? Can we use this? Yeah. Yeah, let's move the base. <laughs> Obviously. Here we go. Does that mean everyone else got left over there, though? Does that mean I have to go back and grab the rest of my Pikmin? Probably. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got about another four minutes. Oh, they're coming back. Great. <laughs> we got another four minutes until we take our ad break. Ooh, time is waning. <sighs> okay. Show. Oh, hey, this. Just throw everyone in there. <laughs> Make it go faster. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Nice. Okay. Cool. Love that. Love to see it. Oh, my Pikmin. Okay. I think we're good. It's about to hit nighttime, so it's probably better to leave things be for now. I say as I'm trying to get more Pikmin. <laughs> okay. What happened? Oh, there were too many. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, did that. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Yes. Uh, according to Captain Olimar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Well, good thing there aren't any. So we're good. I don't have any stray Pikmin. We're chilling. Everything's fine. We're good. Let's go. Can I put them, Can I put them back? Auto. Do I put them all back? I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but that's what I'm doing. Alright. Cute. There we go. And are we just gonna hang out here? For a bit? I guess? <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we good? Is there- do we still have a couple minutes? Did I do that too early? Inspires me always oh, itching his ear. Very cute, very cute. Alright. Well, while we wait for time to pass, um, <laughs> we do have another ad break coming up. Uh, I try to, or I specifically schedule the ads so you don't get any random ads popping up for one because unexpected ads are the worst kind of ads. And uh, I want to make sure that whoever, if anyone ever comes in during stream, they're not hit with free roll ads. Oh my god, I can't speak. Um, so yeah, while we take an ad break, you can go grab a snack, grab some water, run to the restroom, take your meds if you haven't taken your meds yet, and just do whatever it is you gotta do. And we'll be back in a couple minutes once the ads are done. And I'm going to pause this game in a second after this animation is done. <laughs> I just love the music. It's so fucking cute. It's adorable. All right. Phew. We did it. All right. I'm going to throw on the Be Right Back screen. We'll be back in a couple minutes, and we'll play for about another half hour or so. I'm not sure if we're going to be raiding anyone, just because I don't know if there's anyone streaming right now, um, but we'll see. Okay, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okie dokie. We are once again back. <laughs> We'll probably play for another 20 minutes or so, and then I will end stream. I don't know if we're going to raid out, just because I don't think we got any friendos streaming right now. <laughs> we don't have a lot of people, a lot of friends streaming on Saturdays, so... Uh, we'll see. Um, we already, I already got all that info, didn't I? Alright. 
Um, oh, only 12% done so far. Okay. All right, all right. We, we still got we still got ways to go. Welcome back, uh, welcome back Russ. <laughs> Glad to see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> of course, Captain. I had no doubt the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. Okay, now he has a purple space suit on. He didn't earlier. <sighs> Oh my goodness! Uh, sorry about the yawns. Uh, that may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape uh, device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. <laughs> Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, you can, uh, can you tell us if you came across any rocks like this before we found you? Oh, yeah. oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the frogs become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base pro properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. <laughs> cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one. The ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It'll be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update! I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We did that. <laughs> Day three. All right, all right, all right. Wait, didn't we set up base at the other one? Why are we here now? Interesting. Ooh. Wait, is it just me, or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? Yes, he is bigger. Haha. -ha. That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. And now he can carry the Pikmin! Oh my god, it's so cute. But the nose... Guys, I still can't get over the him not having a nose thing. I still can't get over it. It's absolutely ridiculous. The Pikmin sure are playful today. Oh my goodness. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's come into his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. <laughs> what is uh, right, another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that'll be useful for everyday rescue operations. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Alright. All right, officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. I now call the strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. It would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done! <laughs> wow, so quick! <laughs> Um, the SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected in the field into all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Cool! Excellent! Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. <laughs> uh, one last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. Okay, I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while I'm out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material, too. And don't forget about our mission, rescue officers. Our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Evie and Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. All right. I'm getting hungry, bro. I'm getting real hungry. Ahem, allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ. Fantastic raw materials. Awesome. Let's visit the lab, because we're going to need materials. All my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say I have it down to a science. 
In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Okay. Cool. It's a nice side mission. Oh! Okay, but I need a scrummy bone. When OG is injured, this will heal him instantly. Oh! That's so cute, an emergency kit. Oh, that's probably a good thing to have. Should it, can I just grab him? Okay. Oh, I get the prototypes for free. And then it uh, costs money. All right. A charging horn, press X and this horn will order selected Pikmin to charge. Press repeatedly to charge with entire squad. Oh, a scorch guard made from premium fireproof fabric. It'll protect you from any inferno, plus it's moisture wicking. Oh, and there's a scorch guard for, 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 for Ochi too. I need that. I do need that. I'm gonna save up to get that because I only care about Ochi. <laughs> Come back here and see if there's anything else you need. Okay, cool. Oh, hello? Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items! Okay, cool. <sighs> From actions, open your pack. Yep, you'll find all your items in there, so just pick the one you want to use. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Um, I don't want to explore. Let's talk to you about training Ochi. Uh, there you are. Danger is a constant is a constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you and Oji might just save you. As long as you and Oji keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready because it's time to start your training. I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> I want to go explore. I want to go explore, actually. I want to go around and explore. Uh, oh, let's grab all ten of yous. And then we'll grab 20 you use. Alright. Alright, let's go. Um, I want to go to the other... Oh, I literally have to hit explore. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yep, let's do it. I'll talk to Captain later. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. That's- that's all we got! We only got one option! <laughs> hmm. <sighs> okay. Alright, alright, alright. see what else we can get. At least he's finally eating her food. She gets so picky with when she eats her food. It's fucking ridiculous. And she acts like I'm starving her because she's looking for scraps out in the common areas all the fucking time. But she just refuses to eat her actual food, you know? Ay, ay, ay. Ridiculous doggo. Okay. Here we are. I want to... Oh. Come in, come in, over. As we discussed earlier, Ochi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Fantastic. Is that what you were trying to teach me earlier? And I just said, no. Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Fantastic! Walk up close to Ochi and press Y to mount. Press it again to dismount. Press X. When you want Ochi to use jump, he should have no problem clearing small ledges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them launch on your target. Fantastic. I already know all of this. <laughs> I learned all of this earlier. Okay, let me get all the Pikmin. Let me get all my Pikmin. Oh, there's a third type of Pikmin that we haven't gotten yet. Uh... Cancel the cancel. No, I wanted- I meant to cancel the cancel. <laughs> I read it wrong. Okay, confirm. There we go. Alright. So, let me... Let's ride. Oh my god, all the Pikmin! That's so cute. Okay, we're gonna go up here. And we're gonna get this. We're gonna get that. 
And, well, we're gonna have to open this. Okay, it's open. Cool. New cave discovered. Awesome. We'll go there later. I want to get that ball now that I couldn't get before. Because it was being annoying, even though I could, totally could have thrown the Pikmin up there. It was just being especially particular. I was just being very particular about it. Okay, what, what's new? What are you, what are you, what are you exclaiming about? Oh, gear and skills. Cool. I did get a new thing. Uh, the missions, yep. Why does it say new? Oh, side missions. Cool. Gear and skills. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Rescue journal. Yep. All the things. Cool. Voyage log. Awesome. Let's just clear all these out real quick. Or just, I just hate having all of the, all of the notifications on there. All right. And now, can I throw them up here? No? They're not gonna let me. Can I get up here? What the fuck? Why? Why not? That's fucking stupid, man. I should totally be able to throw Pikmin up there. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Alright. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's go underground. Let's go underground, see what we find. Enter. Industrial maze. In the ground, it's the ground it started moving. I groped for a way forward, but I couldn't make any progress on my own. I wonder if Moss may be able to help out help me out of this mess. Who's Moss? Oh, his dog. Who? Wait, I can only bring Oh, I can't bring the ice pikmin? Okay. All right, I guess. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What we got? Oh no. Oh, Ochi, how the fuck did you get over there? What? Oh no, this isn't supposed to happen. Ochi's all the way over there. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Captain, what's the protocol for a situation like this? Uh, you and Ochi need to find a rendezvous point. Uh, open Y actions and use L to select switch to explorers. Ochi! I love this. <laughs> okay. Well, first, let me explore all this. Can't even see the bottom of this cave. Oh, I hate that. Wouldn't want to fall down here. Yep, I wouldn't want to either. Okay, um, why? Switch. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's a thing up there. Cool. Can I? No. <coughs> but he can whistle. That's really cute. Alright, here we go. Now we're together again. Yay. Yay! Oh, but I can't go up there. Can I- HELL YEAH! Alright, let's get all these. Yellow Pikmin! HELL YEAH! Is this a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Captain Olimar's log says anything about them. They're electric Pikmin. Resistance to electricity and they fly high when thrown. Plus they're good at digging. Fantastic. It sounds like a potentially useful quality. Great! I love it. Okay. Oh! Ooh. Interesting. Okay, alright, alright. What happens if I... Can you actually take them? Wow, you can! Okay, cool. Let's have them all go then. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's demolish this, because this is going to be our way out, probably. Okay. Okay. 
can I? Will this help? It did help! Nice! Oh, okay. There we go. Well, this is our way out. Fantastic. Oh, no, that's to go farther down. That's not to go back up. I ate too much pizza and now my tummy hurts. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Jesse. <laughs> you have some tea. Tea usually helps. Oh. Can I? Oh, I can only throw the yellow ones. I need to go get more yellow pigment. Hold on. Pause. All right, there we go. No! That should have worked. What the fuck? Go. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do it again. That's a good idea. Yes! I always have tea when, um, no! I always have tea when my tummy hurts. Especially peppermint tea is usually the best. No! Asshole! Hold on. There we go. That took forever. Alright, let's grab everyone. Gotta get this treasure. Go! And then we go this way. And then we go this way. I think I have peppermint. It might be with chamomile though, but it it's almost nine, so it wouldn't hurt to have some chamomile too. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. Okay. There we go. More treasure! It's a tech deck! Wait, what does it call it? I don't know what it calls it. <gasps> ducky! Hi, Ducky! So happy you're here! I feel like it's been a hot second since I've seen you. How you doing? Thank you for popping in. I really appreciate it. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. No, that's not what I meant to do! Damn it. Okay, there we go. And keep going down. Do, 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 do. And then we're gonna do that. There we go. Alright. Got all those guys. Now we gotta go over there. Let me grab everyone. Ooh, 600 sparklium. Damn, that's a lot of fucking sparklium, man. Okay. Um, I've been sicky icky. I'm sorry. Uh, the boyfriend had the Rona and I'm getting over the Rona. It has been no bueno, but I'm getting my footing again. Okay, I'm glad you're starting to feel better, but shit, I'm sorry, man. That is definitely not fun. <laughs> okay. The Game Boy emulator on Switch just got Oracle of Time and Oracle of Seasons. I'm sobbing and so excited. I... Is it bad that I don't know what those are off the top of my head? <laughs> I... That is not familiar to me. Oh, Legend of Zelda games! Okay, okay, okay. That's what they sounded like, but I wasn't 100% sure. And I get confused, so... <laughs> oh, I have to wait until it charges up. There we go. Alright, oh! Puzzle piece! Nice! Oh, and more of these. Go! No. Oh shit, they're gonna get stuck, aren't they? Hold on. Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, 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 hold. Yeah! Okay. Switch that. There they go. Fantastic. I think that's all the stuff that's here, anyways. Uh, just piece of advice, don't eat bad chowder when your Rona gets done, because that's what I did in December, so I was finally healed of the Rona, but then got food poisoning. Oh no, Jesse! Oh my goodness, that sucks. Uh... <laughs> okay. Let's go. We zoom in, we zoom in. It was awful. I can imagine... Did I tell you- did I tell you guys the one time where I accidentally gave myself food poisoning three times in a row? And then I thought I was dying, so I went to, uh, urgent care? Or, I went to the ER? 
and um, they're like, oh, no, you're just having a panic attack. And I'm like, okay, great. Um, <laughs> which I was just having a panic attack because I have a phobia of throwing up. So anytime I feel remotely ill, uh, I go into a state of panic, which is oh, so much fun. <laughs> Big room currently outside your squad will come with you. Let's continue. Uh, that's opposite for me. I had the food poisoning, then the Rona. Oof. Food poisoning is absolutely awful. I've never exploded from both ends ever. It was traumatizing. See, I didn't have anything coming out, and that was the problem. Because <laughs> I have a phobia of throwing up, so I, I don't let myself throw up. I hold it all in. So, um, yeah, it's great. Final sub-level. Uh, yes, the panic attack induced food poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. What? Did you finish your food? Sorry, I have to pause. Lacey finished her food. I have to go give her her whimsy because she gets a treat for finishing her food because that's how I have to condition her to actually eat her food. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm not. Okay, hold on. I know, I know. Did you guys see me back there? I don't think you could. Okay, I think we're good. It's fine. It's not like I'm I'm wearing pants. Uh, they're just they're very they're shorts. <laughs> Uh, my chronic illness makes me throw up, so we love that. Oh, I'm sorry, Ducky. That's no fun at all. <sighs> okay. Cool. Well, let's get rid of that. Okay. What are we doing here? What do we have to do? Let's go up here. Whoop. And let's bust through these. Go. I didn't see you, ma'am. You're pantsless? I'm not pantsless! I have shorts on! They're just- they're shorts! Okay? <laughs> I didn't want anyone saying anything about me wearing shorts. I don't know. <laughs> hey, it's me, the ducky! It is! Uh, ducky, I didn't know you were in this game! Cameo! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this. But we're gonna we're gonna solve this puzzle together. Oh, this moves. Okay, let's go. Platform! We gotta press the button. Just a quick cameo, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super casual. Super casual. The fuck is that? Alright. Oh, but it don't. No. Oh, that's red nectar. It's for Ochi. Oh, look at that red nectar. I wonder. What does that mean? What is that? Ultra spicy spray? What the fuck? <gasps> thank you for the hydrate. Also, thank you for redeeming your daily berry. <laughs> Got a Ganlin berry. Don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> a spray consisting of red nectar infused with ultra spicy compounds. Side effects still unknown. Okay. I believe this is that ultra spicy nectar that was mentioned in the voyage log. Keep that sample sealed up in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. There's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. It should be useful. Didn't Ochi just absorb all of it? I don't know what's happening. Okay, we press that button. Okay, I gotta wait. Or I could just jump down there. Yeah, let's jump down. <gasps> and let's pick all these Pikmin! More Pikmin! More Pikmin! Nice. Oh, the Pikmin! Um, I mean, yeah, we gotta collect the stuff. I don't know if they'll be able to, but let's see. I think that's... Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens. Is anyone gonna die? I don't know. Oh no, we're chilling. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, this one was lowered too! Okay, let's grab the Pikmin and then we will continue onwards. Okay, once we are 
done with this underground area, we will end stream. I have to head the hay because I was out hella late last night and I'm slowly shutting down. Ah, uh, no worries! I go go get some rest. Go get some shut eye. Thanks for a lovely stream. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a very nice rest and have the best of dreams. Have all the best dreams. Okay. What are you doing? Why are you ringing the bell right now? Not right now, pup. Not right now. Okay. Ooh. 15. I'm not counting. Uh, is it enough? Hell yeah, I did 15 exactly. Fuck yeah. Are they gonna be able to go that way? Yeah, 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 they should be able to. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm sorry, Ducky. I just noticed what Pokemon you are, and I am so confused. It's Dotrio, but like, why does it look like that? I have never seen that form of Dotrio before, and that's interesting. <laughs> if you want me to change, I can change it to whatever Pokemon you want. I have a channel point, uh, redeem that uh, you can let me know what type of Pokemon you would prefer to be and its preferred form as well because there's different forms of Pokemon and uh, yeah, I could change that for you. It looks like it's limping, we're just broken. Yeah! Exactly! <laughs> Same! <laughs> Same as real life. <laughs> okay, there we go. Is Snorlax an option? Peaches, 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 I love you, oh, peaches, 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 I love you, oh, sorry, I have to sing it every time it happens, um, thank you for that, Boho, <laughs> Snorlax is in fact an option, here, let's do it, let's do it real quick, Snorlax. Oh, there's someone else who is also Snorlax. So it's going to be funny if they ever pop in and you guys are just both Snorlax at the same time. There we go. Snorlax. Heck yeah. That definitely made the day better. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, we did that. Let's go up. Go up. Okay, we did that over there. We need to take the electric part off of this. Oh! And also get that! Oh, more nectar! Everybody drink up! Everybody drink up! Let me get off. Everybody drink! Drink up! Oh! Okay, only a couple of them were able to, but that's fine. Okay, let's throw you. I don't know how many I have. There we go. Alright! Uh, Battle of the Snorlaxes, thank you. Of course, of course! Uh, happy to do it. This is gonna take a hot fucking second. Oh my god. There we go. Oh yeah, yay. Okay, let's grab all those guys. These are all fine. Should I wait and go grab them? Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine without them. Oh, let's dig- let's have them dig this up, though. They're also great at digging! Uh, okay, and let's- bust through this while we're waiting. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right. Oh, hey, more Pikmin. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Cool. Did that. Um. Let's grab this guy. Let's go. We heading back. I think we got all the stuff. Fuck yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I probably could have moved that to over there. I didn't do that. That's fine. That's fine. Reminded me that I need to feed Snorlax. Oh, and Pokemon Sleep! Did you download Pokemon Sleep? Fuck yeah! Unless you're talking about something completely different, but I really hope you're talking about Pokemon Sleep. Because <laughs> that made me really happy just now. <laughs> Where's the other Pikmin? Hello? Oh, they're coming. Okay. Ah! But 
Fuck yes! Uh, I got it. I got it. I used it last night during my and during my nap today. Fuck yeah, dude! It's so cool. It's so much fun. I it genuinely is very helpful for sleep. <laughs> you have to remember to feed it three times a day. I mean, you don't have to, um, but to help level it up or power it up more so that you can discover more of a, a higher variety of Pokemon. <laughs> okay, who is this? Schnoz? Is that Schnoz? <laughs> An acclaimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively, his unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. Okay, but his outfit also isn't purple, but his hair is purple. So I guess that counts enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. But remembering to feed it means I remember to feed myself. Facts. That's a good point, Boho. That's a good fucking point. His name is literally Nose. Yes. <laughs> Why? I love that there's so many mentions of noses in this game, but the pup does not have a nose. And it's so irritating. <laughs> And he shows that he's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, that's why he's not in purple. He's not part of our crew. <laughs> you remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Olimar's Olimar SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar too, shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch anyway. Voldemort dog? Yeah, it's disturbing. I'm not a fan. It's like my only my only thing that I'm being picky about in this game right now. <laughs> uh, I'd like to think this appraiser is the only one, but we should keep an eye out for more uh, civilian castaways. Castaways. We are castaways. Okay, sorry. And be ready <laughs> to rescue them too. Chances they're in danger. I'm officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? All right. My concern is the amount of legs it has, to be honest. What? Oh, because it only has two. It has two feet. You're correct. It is. That's also weird. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's grab everyone <laughs> and head on back. Wait, come here. What was happening there? Okay, let's go. Go. Because I think we did everything. So I think we gotta head out. I think we got all the stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Back to the surface. Hell yeah. It's just so weird that he doesn't have a nose. Like, he should have a nose, right? He should have a nose. And it is weird that he only has two legs. I didn't think about that. But that is also a fact. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff. Hold on. Personal injury plank. That's a tech deck. They're calling it a personal injury plank. PI plank? Why? Memory fragment. Top right. Okay. Stately rubber cutie. All right. Detective's truth seeker. Facts. Unlimited locomotive. All right. <laughs> I am back. How is game? Game is good! Also, welcome back, Cart. I hope you're having a fun time. I hope you had a good time with your laundry. That's what you were doing. I forgot. <laughs> hey, we got all the stuff! Fuck yeah! Okay. Well, we're probably gonna leave the game there, because I need to figure out what the fuck I'm having for dinner, <laughs> and see if I have enough energy to work on my project on my presentation that I have to do for school. Um, let me see who is streaming right now. Because if we do have a friendo streaming, I would like to raid them. Which we do! I don't know if you guys would be down for it. She's playing Resident Evil 4. I know it's very different vibes from here. <laughs> If you guys aren't up for that, we just won't raid out tonight, which is fine. Um, but if you guys are interested in some Resident Evil 4, we could raid over to her. Um, okay, but let's finish this up so I can save and exit. 
What's the problem? Oh, I see. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. Yeah, there are limits to how many and what types of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any time, but don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Any remaining Pikmin will go back to the Onion with the SS Beagle. Okay. Resident Evil 4? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I think that's that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now, how does one save an exit or can we only save an exit does it only save per day can i not save i could just end the day <sighs> um i need to go eat though well i think we'll just leave it for now and um i might just finish up the, the day on my own or something something like that okay but let's just we'll leave it like that um okay what scene am i going to full face is what we're trying to do oh my goodness thank you so much to those of you that came around and hung out with me today i really appreciate you all so fucking much you all are amazing and wonderful human beings and i'm so happy i get to hang out with you guys and play some really cool games <laughs> so uh next stream we'll be back to regular schedule on tuesday 3 p.m pacific standard time we'll be playing some more story of seasons a wonderful life because i have to play that at least once a week because i am obsessed and um I don't know what I'm gonna play on Thursday. I was thinking maybe some Disney Dreamlight Valley because it's been a hot second since we've played that. Um, but I'm not sure. If you have any suggestions or preference of what you would like me to play next week, just throw a suggestion in Discord and uh, yeah, actually, while I'm talking about Discord, let me plug my Discord again. Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, you can join our Discord. I sometimes put polls up there if I can't decide what the fuck I want to play for a stream and I let you guys pick for me because I am so fucking indecisive. I've never seen the Disney game playthrough. I'd love to see it since I've been on the fence about getting it. Okay, cool. Then maybe we'll just do that on Thursday next week. Okay, solid. And then thank you for helping me decide that. <laughs> And then here are my socials, all the other places I exist on the internet, not including threads. I'm also on threads. Also, Twitter. I updated the Twitter app. It's now called X. They did the change. It's called X now, which is fucking ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I have all of these uh, things. I've been uploading all my VODs to YouTube. So if you want to check out any of my previous streams, I am in the prog process of uploading all of them on there. And uh, wait, what? Yeah, Elon... Elon is fucking weird. Um, <laughs> Mastodon, what? I don't know how I'm supposed to read that cart. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> but yeah, um, I am on threads as well. Uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay. I think that's that. I'm gonna start up the raid to go raid our friend Z, who actually popped in earlier today. So it's just X. Yeah, it's just X. It is, in fact, just X. It's uh, very interesting. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna stay that way, because uh, I guess there were some copyright issues, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'm gonna start up the raid. If you guys wanna help me out, give our give some love to our streamer friend Z, who's a lovely individual, so sweet. Um, also Australian, so completely different time zone for me. <laughs> but yeah, she's playing some Resident Evil 4, which I haven't even seen before, so this is gonna be fun. Alrighty, I will see you guys over there, and I'll see you on Tuesday for some more cozy farming time. Okay, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Bye!